Hello and welcome back to another episode here on North Country Ham. I appreciate you stopping in. Today's video we're going to do a continuation showing part two of the progress on this build for the satellite tracking system that I'm making. appreciate everybody sticking around with me thanks for uh, stopping by and if you like what I'm doing any of the videos any of the projects build stuff anything to do with the ham radio um, hobby please consider subscribing to the channel I appreciate it and if you like the video give it a thumbs up leave me any kind of comments I always try to read them all and uh, try to respond if I'm able to so I appreciate everybody uh, stopping by the channel it's uh, greatly appreciated I'm I'm really enjoying what I've been doing with it. So again, like I was saying, this is uh, going to be kind of a part two of this satellite tracking system build that I'm doing with a friend of mine in the local club. Kind of gone through, designed some stuff, printed it out on my 3D printer. We're assembling it, doing some testing on it. We've kind of made some good headway on it so far. So I'm going to show you some of that. Um, kind of show a couple of short video clips as I threw, you know, you know, kind of fade over to to show you some of the progress of it on the setting on the tripod to you know how it's going to kind of be finished product how it's mounted and show you a little more on this uh pan and tilt assembly that i've got put together so hopefully it's a pretty interesting show it's definitely been a fun project so far so let me switch over here to the overhead so we can share that okay so as you can see here i've got the pan and tilt assembly that I showed on the one video, the full assembly of it, putting it together and building it, and the, all the 3D printed parts that I did where I've designed it on a, on a CAD program, and then printed it out on my 3D printer and actually put it together. So I'll um, show you a little more on this. Now, I showed this briefly in that video, this little um, um, oh, three-quarter round holder that I made, but I did some changes to it, made it a little bit, not so thick but uh, reprinted that along with the spacer in the in there and got it bolted down with the T and it kind of it definitely gives it some good support and keeps it from wobbling there and as you can see it just bolted in here um, under underneath now one thing I did I, I picked up a tripod and first thing I did I took the little camera stud out of it just thread it out it didn't do any damage to the plate so I could reuse it if I needed to but I just put a bolt up in through here and threaded it through um, and got it bolted to the bottom of this channel. Now that bottom plate had the round hole that I made in it and what I've got is gives you access to a and gives it space so it's not trying to it's got plenty of clearance that way. I got a fender washer and then a, a nut tighten down on it to hold the plate in place. Now the little compression stud that's on these plates that you can kind of, it's like a little plunger. It's at these, all these little holes are on the bottom of the channel too. It's actually in one of the holes giving it a secure. So that's one reason for it being canted off. But also when it's locked into the quick release, it kind of sets on the tripod where it's kind of evenly split the weight over the two, two of the legs. So I kind of like that. So that's how I got that bolted in. Um, now we got the little tab on here just stuck on here because that's where we were kind of that side facing north is how we we're trying to orientate it and tune the uh, tune all the the servos on the on the software on the sketch we're doing but that way this little horn here is facing forward because that's a natural stop on the motor it can't go past that 
So if, has that being the front of the antenna, that's not going to be a problem because you're never going to be pointing down at the ground. It's always going to be, you know, level with the horizon. So it won't ever really travel below the horizon that way. So we'll kind of program that where it can't go past this point anyways on the sketch. But it allows it to be able to come all the way to 90 degrees and actually past. So the antenna is pointing straight up in the air. So essentially it can lit raise, rotate, and drop back down tracking the satellite that way. Nice and smooth and, and operational that way. So got a little more progress on it. Um, on part of this you'll see I made a little bit of a extension here that the antenna slides over the top here and this just goes in here that way it's so it's clear when it's rotating around of anything on the on the tripod but um, yeah. so that's that assembled on here and it clicks into the tripod nice and we'll uh, we'll show you guys that too transition here all right, so I'm going to show you a little clip. We're going to kind of transition over to a little video clip showing the antenna mounted on top of this pan tilt assembly locked on top of the tripod. So you can kind of see about how it's going to be. A um, couple things to note. The tripod I got, it's a 57-inch tripod, so it can go from collapsed up to 57 inches. And it's rated for 6 pounds. So... I, I think it's going to be more than sufficient for what we've got because the whole pan tilt assembly is only maybe a pound and a half, two pounds. I, I haven't weighed it, but the antenna is only, it's less than two pounds on the antenna. So it should be more than plenty for what we've got on um, mounting to the top of it. So we'll show you that little video of it kind of on the tripod with the antenna mounted on it. Let's go over here to that. All right, here we are, ten all together on the pan and tilt mounted to the tripod. And if you look here, you can see I've got it set where it mounts right in on the quick release through the little plate that they send. And working with a friend of mine, we we ended up doing a little bit of an extension here, so that way when it comes back to 90 degrees it can pivot around clear of everything it's easy to move with the antenna on it with no power to it as soon as you put juice to it it kind of locks the motors in so here we are and i've got a guy where the feed point comes down i've got where it'll kind of velcro our um, coax to here and maybe down to the leg with a loop so that way there's room for it to travel but that way it's all clean and out of the way too so that's uh here we are mounted on the on the tripod all right i it definitely i think it's getting pretty neat um i'm going to show you another little kind of transition over to another little video where it kind of shows it um trying to track a satellite now this was initial just hooking it up connecting the servos to this the the adreno sketch and connecting it with actually ham radio deluxe at the time just to see if it's going to try to move it with nothing it's just on the no antenna on it but just to try to move to see if it's trying to move the servos at all so that was kind of neat you know it's first step to do and then i'll kind of show you the next part um where we're we tuned the servos to point in the direction with the assembly how we want and then we've got it set up in the sketch when you first connect to run a full range of motion test and I'll show you that too so let's show you this first part here trying to track trying to move with the satellite oh, he was seven. Well, that's when I would probably try to talk about satellite it. alpha Oscar zero seven is okay. visible We gotta figure that out. Well, that, that's what I'm saying. I got some of that three eight split conduit, like. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Turn 
Okay. So. Well, this next one I'm going to show you is just it running after we got everything kind of tuned and point in the direction we want it running a full range of motion test that it'll do when you first connect up and the sketch connects to the servos to start give commands. It does this full cycle of full range of motion and then sets it back to what we've got programmed as the home position where it's basically flat with the horizon and facing north. So I'll show you that. I like that speed. <laughs> all right everybody i i appreciate you stopping by watching i hope you find this uh project so far pretty interesting it's been real fun uh build project for myself and uh, a friend of mine at the local club so we'll have more to follow on this project and hopefully soon we'll have it uh operational um and be able to make some satellite contacts uh during field day this year so we'll uh i'll say seven three and get on the air.